Now, can you hear me now? Hello, testing, one, two, three, testing. I think I did it wrong. I, usually I don't have my earbuds in my, my computer, I think. So anyways, yes, okay. I'll start all over again. So this will probably I have about another two, maybe three more um, Thursday live streams. Um, because of the Little League, I do announcing and um, scorekeeping. So they do the games on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I won't do nothing on until after the after the games are done and everything else. Um, and with us finding land and stuff, I have to go up to this weekend to look at the two properties we are kind of interested in and go over with the guy because he wasn't there this last week when we went up there with, he said, just go look at him and let him know. Um, so I'm going up there myself. I'm going to take the drone with me and the camera, but it's supposed to rain, snow, or whatever the crap it is. But if it's not going to be able to take a bunch of pictures and fly the drone, last week when we went up, that wind was terrible. I had the drone just above the treetops, and I tried flying, or fly, flying over the property, and it just didn't want to work with me. Um, pretty much... Uh, the, we're trying to find land where we don't want lakefront. We want a close to lake, so we're not going to travel too far. We could be right where we're at right now. There's about 17 or 18 different small lakes, uh, four bigger lakes. So um, a lot of four wheel trails up there. So that's what we want to do. We want to find something with uh, four wheel trails and and with lakes. We'll just buy a smaller boat because we got rid of the pontoon. Like I said last live stream, we got rid of that. Um. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that this weekend. Um. And hopefully, some deals keep going, flying about, keep it going. Um. Hopefully, by after the fourth, we have some place to go. I told her she would, is. Really, I don't know, I'm pretty happy about building this year, but I told her, let's just buy it and leave it. We'll clear the space out. We want the place because we want to put up a 30. It's either going to be a 30 by 60 or 30 by 80 shed, and then we're going to partition it. It'll be half garage, and the other half is going to be a livable space. Um, so, yeah, that's what our plan is right now. I have to go to the the courthouse up there to see the limitations on the building and what I can build up there. Um, I'm hoping I can build the shed that I want. Um, so that's all kind of in the works. With that, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I know I did go on the um, uh, Saint Germain. Um, uh, documents and there I could put a shed up and then um, the, what we're looking at is between St. Germain and Eagle River but it's more closer to Eagle River so we are going to go uh, hopefully like I said by 4th of July we'll have some kind of land in our name so um, and then I in the process of buying a lawnmower, a new lawnmower, um, mine is a 2006 Cup Cadet. I've had no problems with it. I had actually one issue with it. Actually, a couple small issues. One was a dry belt, which is uh, for a 15-year mower. It, it actually was about a 12-year-old mower. They dry rot, you know, all that goes with the wetness and stuff. So I put that on. I changed belts a couple times. I did have an issue with it last year. It was... Um, what the heck was it? It was the the spark plug, uh, not the plug itself, but the um, we plug it into that plug, that outlet. Um, I can't think of the damn name now. But I had to buy one of those. It was um, it wasn't bad. It was like thirty bucks, so easy fix on that. But that's the only thing that's wrong with that one. I didn't want to get a new one, but it's ready. 
2006, so it's 15 years old. Um, so I'm buying uh, um, a ZT2. It's called the Cup Cadet ZT2, 54 inch, zero turn. Um, I had to order one. It's going to be, I don't know, probably a month before I get it because everything is a back order. I went to three different places and so I just ordered one online and had it shipped to a dealer uh, up in Antigo there. So I figured I'd go and just order it, have it shipped there, and I can pick it up when they call me when it's there. So, yeah, it's a lot of stuff's happening again. And um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully by July we have something and we can uh, go forward and make some better videos. I think uh, once we get the land up there, I'll be making a lot more, a uh, lot more uh, drone videos up there. There's a lot of lot of land. We, um, <laughs> the way this place is at, it's like a subdivision kind of, but it's like each lot is five acres plus. So you're not like stacked on top of each other. You're a little ways away, but you're not on top of each other. That's what I kind of wanted. Um, It'd be nice to have a 40 acres by yourself, but you only can do so much, you know. <laughs> yes, I have a new, yes, I have, uh, I don't, I don't use my track. That's the only thing I use my uh, riding lawnmower for is to mow lawn. I have a toy called uh, um, Honda Pioneer 1005. It's got a plow on it. It's got a 72 inch, um, uh, KTI plow. Um, it's, I use it. Uh, I know it's you, Laura. <laughs> um, so that's what I use it with. But this year I used, I hooked it up and I used it once. But every time I hook it, it snows. So I didn't unhook it and it didn't snow after that. And I'm waiting another two weeks. It's still hooked up to the wheeler, so I'm not unhooking it. I'm waiting two weeks, and I'm going to unhook it. So I'm going get, to uh, get my stuff ready for the garage sale, too. That's at the end of April. I am having a huge clean up my storage unit. Um, got a lot of stuff I need to clean out. I, I need need room in there. Um, so I'm going to have a huge garage sale. They are... Um, um, I think they're having the big Pike Lake rummage sale that weekend. So I'm going to have whatever I have in it is gone. 90% of it is going to be gone. I'm getting rid of all my, uh, um, maple syrup, uh, maple syrup supplies, all that. Uh, I've got two storage units I bought that's in there. So there's a lot of stuff that I got to get rid of. It's going to go dirt cheap too because I don't want it. I don't want it sitting around. Just too much stuff. Yes, I should. I'll be fine. Um, a lot of stuff I got. Those units I got pretty cheap. So um, I actually got two, two uh, big totes of collector items down in my basement that's trying to sell but no one right now no one wants to buy it's, right now it's not a buyer's market it's a seller's market it's not a buyer's market um even though i did not price them high they still won't there's, there's no buying into the collector's eyes right now i guess so i'm uh, talking to my brother and he's having the same issues with because he does the same stuff i do with uh, buying stores lockers and um he said the the, the collectible stuff is not um, selling where it should be, um, the buyers are not buying, and he takes it to some guy he knows. He won't tell me he's he does more stuff than I. Well, he he does more storage stuff than I do, but he won't tell me the guy who sells this stuff, um, his collectible stuff, and I want him to sell it, but he won't tell me. But whatever, I'll eventually sell it. Um, I'm just I'm. Just want it out of the house. So 
I'm going to do that. Uh, hopefully, I get rid of that stuff this by this fall. Get rid of all my maple syrup by fall. I should put it, should pull it out um, in a couple weeks. Till pictures on it, throw it on the web. And once when I get half half of that storage unit out, because the other half, half of it is all my sugar, my my maple syrup stuff equipment. The other half is just the two. Um, um, the storage units that I bought, that's just the extra stuff I saved I was going to sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to downsize or not. It's, a, it's got, I got a 10 by 20 unit, um, but I do have a lot of stuff. Uh, I could throw my ice fishing gear in there and stuff. So I never had a problem with mice. So the mice is no big deal. <clears throat> so I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping to uh, get rid of all my stuff by the end of April. By that time, it'll be May. Oh, and yeah, this, I was watching, there's a app, whatever I have, and a lot of them are pulling them because of um, this week could probably be the last week. If anything, Wednesday would be the last day. And not just. This coming week by Wednesday should be the last day because this could be the temperature should be too high even at night to be running to shut them off. Now you, naughty, naughty, naughty. You screwed me up now, I was going to say. Mm. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it wasn't important. Like they always said, if it was important, you'd remember it right away. So it wasn't important. Um, yeah, so yeah, a lot of stuff's going on right now. Um, what else is there to talk about tonight? We did the ice shack last week. I, I showed you guys a video on that and the ice shack I got. Um, oh, I might, uh, my other pop up that I have, <coughs> excuse me, um, my cousin knows somebody that is looking for one, so that might be gone. Um, otherwise, I got nothing else going on. Too exciting, anyways, besides work. Yay. We all know how work is. Retirement doesn't come fast enough. So, I think that new mower is going to be, because I can mow my lawn and about 45 minutes and once in a while I use my neighbors he's got one of them called the RZT mower it's one with the steering handle <sighs> excuse me with the steering wheel and um I can mow my lawn in about 15 20 minutes with that so this his is only a 48 inch, I think. And this is a 54, so I figured about 15, 20 minutes. So I can have it mowed. Nope. I did not go out shed hunting this year. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Sunday I've got stuff going on. You know, I got some uh, important business going on this Sunday. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. Um, until everything is set in stone, um, we got some friends. We're gonna start doing something, so I will probably talk to them, and then maybe next Thursday I'll give you guys a hint or kind of a lowdown on what's going on, on what's gonna ha what's gonna be happening. Um, so yeah, I've been doing no shed huntings, uh, no shed, didn't find no sheds yet. Uh, I didn't do no shed hunting. And if you want to know, there's no ice left on the lake. It was off uh, Monday morning. Monday ah, Monday morning, mon Monday mid-morning, there was no ice left on the lake. So it was, it was the rain, the rain really uh, took a damper on the ice. Um, up north, we were going to go this Saturday up north to um, the Secret Lake. And um, we talked to one of the guys from my pickup, where I pick up at. His brother lives on a lake up there. He said a lot of lakes up there are the shores are open between 10 to 20 feet out already along the whole shore. So you can't even get on the lake. And um, I talked to my cousin yesterday, and he said that um, 
he talked to a couple people too, and that the shores up north are the, the ice are cra is crap, and the shores are getting to be too dangerous to even think about going out there. So, I guess fishing's done this year. Um, I got some of my stuff put away. I got to take my Milwaukee drill in. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll drop it off and I uh, <clears throat> do my delivery. I um, well, I deliver to there's a place that uh, deals in Milwaukee tools. So I told them about it and they, they said they they would uh, just take it and take care of it for me. So it's under. It's under a lifetime warranty issue that they're having problems with anyways. So it's no big deal. If it keeps happening, it keeps happening. I don't have to pay for it. So, yeah, very short. We didn't, uh, for, it was it was actually a crappy fishing year. Uh, we didn't catch, we caught two northern. I think uh, two northern that were not even recordable. I think I caught, uh, I caught one, and I think Leland caught one. Leland caught a couple small bass, and all we've been catching was uh, decent-sized bluegills, but I think we caught maybe 10 crappies. We wouldn't even, don't even talk about bragging about them because they were not even nine inches. So it was a crappy year this year. I don't know, the fishing, I think it, was, it had something to do with some with the, um, with the uh, weeds going out late and when it get laid up, uh, ice thick enough to walk out there until I think it was almost the end of December because, you know, how December was, it was mid-30s, so we didn't uh, get to go out there till We did go out Christmas. That's right, we went on, it was the first time we went out on Christmas. That's when uh, there was about five or six inches ice out there, but otherwise, yeah, it was terrible. We, usually we're fishing week after uh hunting season so yeah it was a terrible year this year um we went up you know going up north all every weekend so that was always it was kind of fun but i mean you drive an hour and a half hour and two hours away and it's just like that what kind of fishing is up where you are buying land any kind of fishing, there is walleye, musky, northern, crappie, bluegill, rock bass, sunfish, eel pout. Um, there is some lake trout where we're going, where we're buying land. There's some lakes around that have lake trout in it. So um, as soon as I find out where they are, well, me and the kid are going to go try hammering some lake trout out there. Get some That'd be nice. I'd never never lake trout uh, fish through the ice before. I did it in 2001. I think me and the wife went with a group of guys, a group of people that we know. We did a charter up in uh, Bayfield County up on Lake Superior and did the uh, Apostle Islands, I think it is, up there. And we went out about 20 miles out there and stayed on an island. And we went on the um, one of the boats out there and stayed overnight on a boat. Or they, they had like a house out there, like a cabin. And then us younger people, the older people stayed in the cabin and us younger people stayed on the boat. And we um, we slept on the boat. It, it was okay, but I'll tell you what, it was tight. The, the, the boats were tight. It was... If you're claustrophobic, you would never want to sleep in there. It was pretty. It was really tight. But we did. We did actually pretty good fishing. We um, we caught, we caught like eight. Our boat caught like eighteen or nineteen, because we went on a. I want to say we went on a Friday. No, we went on a Saturday. Saturday morning, Saturday, come back. No, we went on a. Sunday morning. I can't remember. We would come back to till then during the week, but I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun. We had we had real fun. And it was actually um um the waves out there, they were like only one or two foot rollers, so it wasn't bad at all. You know, there wasn't no five, six foot rollers out there. So 
Yeah, that was it was nice. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna buy a smaller, um, like a 16 footer, because we're only gonna be up there for you know Friday if we do buy land. I told her we could just shoot out of the out of here by when I get home from work and shoot up there. I can shower up there if I need to, and then um, we can run a four wheeler. You know, once you build a shed and stuff, we can uh, either go four wheeling or fishing and do whatever on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then come back. Well, at least Friday night about five o'clock ish or so, whenever I get home from work, and then uh, come back Sunday mid morning. So. So that's up, um, yeah, midday. We come back about, we leave up there about noon, get back about two or so. And yeah, that'd be nice to get away from everything. It's when we were up by my aunt and uncles, they were just so nice to just get up there. When we uh, we went nice fish this year a couple of times and we went up and stayed at the cabin. It was just so peaceful up there on Sunday morning. Just oh, unreal. Peace and quiet. Even at night, we went when they cooked outside, and the grill. It was just you'd have a snowbird come back, come through once in a while. But they were so far down because they live on, I have a, a cabin on top of the hill, and the snowbird trail runs down in the valley, and you can hear them at a distance. But then once they get down the valley, you can't hear them. So it's it's real peaceful up there. Can't wait to. Buy some, buy some land and start our own little vacation home. She even mentioned tonight, uh, you know, we get no younger. Uh, maybe we should, you know, for retirement. And I said, like, glad I told you this five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm, I'm kind of glad she's liking it. So um, I think she just wanted to make sure which direction we would get our head towards. Um, at first, we were, kind of thinking of, we were thinking about heading down south to Texas and between Texas and Arizona that end, but even the snow, I mean, if we do get old enough and it gets cold, I said, at least, you know, we got something up north to stay at. And then uh, when we are retired or whatever, and then we could just find something down in, in – um, down south, you know, come back up here in the, in the spring, summertime. So, so that's our plans for what we are going to be doing. Um, she's been looking at new vehicles too, so I'm not sure what her plans are on that either. You can be snowbirds. That's what we're planning on doing, being snowbirds. Fly when the geese fly at south for the wintertime, Kenny and Michelle be flying south for the wintertime. When they fly north for the springtime, Kenny and Michelle be flying north for the spring springtime. So, yeah, that's our plan. Um, when the more comes in, I will let you guys, uh, give you guys a video on that. Um what else? Oh, I got to get, uh, if you guys want a more in-depth um, look on the ice shack, let me know. I can do a little slower video. I know that was kind of a quick video. Um, I can do a little bit more in-depth video of the ice shack. I don't know, everyone liked it. And my other one, I should actually do a, I could do a comparison of my old, my big one and my smaller one. Um, my my buddies, because I told my buddy I, from down in, uh, he lives in Oak Creek. I told him I bought an ice shack. He goes, you mean your big one, right? I said, no, I bought a smaller one so I can get it out on ice faster. Oh, we can get it out on the hole. I said, yeah. <laughs> they only go that far. Baloney, watch me. I can go farther than that. I'm not scared going past Chicago. <laughs> so it's coming up on uh, the old half hour here. 
Um, like I, I always say, it's, it's all I want is a half hour of video for everyone to ch chat about. Anybody else has something to say or anything, questions? Otherwise, we can end this one soon. Um, yeah. I hear snoring. Canadian geese are. Yeah, well, they can only fly so far. They don't take jets and airplanes to go, you know, to Florida or whatever. So, yeah, they can only fly so far south and below me. So, I'm sure she's out like a log. So, and the kids got to go to bed. I'm up in the room next to his. Um, I should actually redo this room. Um, make it into my office since this room is wide open now and we got no bed or nothing in it. All I got is just a table and a chair in it. There ain't nothing else. It's only like, a, I think it's a 12 by 12. That's big enough for an office, I think. So I think that's what I'm going to do is probably Sunday morning I'll get this all reorganized and that plate is kind of a pain, but what can you do? So, anyways, guys, it's half an hour. I will uh, keep you guys updated. I'm not sure if I'm going to, if I do make a video, I'll make a video on the land. Um, I'll post it maybe Sunday. Depends on what video I have. I have to get a hold of my neighbor because he wants me to take the drone up over his land and do a video for him for all his land and take some pictures of his house and his his property stuff. So I'm not sure if he's using it for his insurance or, or whatever. So I will uh, talk to you guys next week. And then I should know by that time how many um, Thursdays because I'm going to talk to the coach and see when practice starts and then when the game. I think the game started in May. I think they do second week in May, I think they start. So on that, I will let you guys know on when the Thursday video stops, and then I can give you guys uh, a video when I make and when the videos will, when the Thursday videos will start. It probably I won't probably won't do no Thursday videos till coming close to fall. So on that note, guys, have a good night. We'll talk to you guys next time.